Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Uh, has AJ's mask slipped? Uh, does Eddie Earn leave himself wide open for criticism? I think he does, yeah, at times, doesn't he? I think Eddie leaves his sem wide open for the simple reason you know, he goes on about the Wilder offer and is the money there and all that and that a fighter's got to get what he's what he what he deserves and all that, but yet Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz just wants a little bit more. Barry Hearn always says leave a bit of bread in the seagull's mouth, doesn't he? Well, well, uh, they're not leaving any. They're not leaving much in in. Andy Ruiz's mouth, are they? You're not leaving much in Andy Ruiz's mouth, are they? If you know what I mean. And uh, so, as far as I'm concerned, 127 for Diesel. Then. As far as I'm concerned, yeah, Eddie does leave his scent open for criticism. A lot of criticism. Uh, but what can you do? Nine mile left. I don't like to run it into dregs. Should always get fill it up with about ten left in it, but that much on. But yeah, Eddie leaves his set open to criticism. He's, he, you know, he slates drug cheats. He slated Billy Joe Saunders, didn't he? With Andrade fight. What's he going to do? He's got Billy Joe Saunders stripped, caused a load of problems for him. Then he goes and signs him, tapping him up as well. I've heard. Eddie calls it flirting, I call it tapping up. Uh, it's just one big critic, contradiction, isn't it? But boxing's the easiest sport in the world to contradict yourself, isn't it? I could write a book about it. Do you know what I mean? I could write a book about it. You know, people who I know, they go on about certain people, then, God, before you know where you are, they're edging the bets and they're hanging around with them people. Because that's how it is, because boxers who've boxed, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? For example, what's Dave Allen going to do if he's not a boxer? He's not going to get a job, is he? He's never had a job. What's he going to do? What job is Dave going to do? So, they've got to try and promote themselves, haven't they? If they had any balls, they'd be out thieving for a living, wouldn't they? Or breaking law, at least having a go, but he's no family to support, has he? No kids, David. Probably never gonna have any. But uh, this is how I look at it, right? I was speaking to a kid I know the other day. She's alright. I was speaking to a kid the other day that I know, and uh, he was complaining that he didn't have a job and. His bird were working and blah de blah. So I says to him, listen, if you had any knackers, you'd be out doing something to put food on the table. And if you got caught, well, at least you're not draining your missus's finances while you're in jail, you dosser. And he didn't like it. Maybe I'm too much of a straight talker. But you should never sponge off a woman. Any man that lets a woman take him out, disgust me. You go out and you pay for women, don't you? You open car door, don't you, and pay for them. No woman can ever say that I've let her pay for me for anything. But boxing, what are boxers gonna do? Well, they should stay in boxing and train or be cut men and all that, but there ain't that many positions, is there? Because these cut men, they get to be cut men and, and trainers, age 30, 35, they're doing it till the 60. So, See where I'm coming from? You, you, get, you get established gyms, don't you? Like Gallagher's, Ingalls. I mean, Hobson's gym, uh, Glyn Rhodes' gym. They're all established, aren't they? And 
it is what it is in it I suppose there needs to be something set up for boxers in my opinion but getting back to Eddie Hearn well as far as I'm concerned right Eddie Hearn he does rub people up the wrong way but he sells his soul doesn't he to the devil for his fighters he takes all the flack, doesn't he? They wheel him out, don't they, Sky? Whenever there's a problem, I just wheel Eddie Hearn out. We'll wheel him out. Are we in a gimme culture at the moment? Yeah, we're in a gimme culture. Has Eddie Hearn got a big mouth? Yeah. Is Al Heyman beating Eddie Hearn hands down by just being silent? Yeah, power in silence. The white bee sample. What's happening with this white bee sample? Where's it gone? I mean, I've see, I seen something on social media that Big Lou DeBella, aka Blue Lou, Blue Lou has come out with something and he said, Look, you know, it's. Is it, did he say it's 48 hours to four days maximum? Frank Warren's come out and said they got something sorted in four days. So where is this B sample? I think the fans need to know. I'm not going to choose my words carefully on it. We want to know where the B sample is. Where is it? That's all we want to know. Where the B sample is. Do you know what I mean? It's not uh, rocket science, is it? Show us where the B sample is. Show us where it is. That's all we want to know, and then we can make our own minds up, because it's all shrouded in mystery. Can you imagine Dillian White getting another fight on Sky while he's got this hanging over him? Can you imagine bad PR they're going to get over it? It'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? It'd be unbelievable. I'm going to go on my motorway. to get some decent videos done today now, what do you reckon? So... Fucking looking at... You fucking gin... You fucking looking at... You fucking looking at, you prick! Fucking mess me about in the morning. Too many grasses on motorways, isn't there? Telling tales about people's driving. Uh, but now getting back to uh, Eddie Hearn, as far as I'm concerned, right, he's the number one promoter in world boxing. There's no ifs or buts about it. He is the number one guy. He's the big he's the big dog at the moment, Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn is the big dog. No ifs, no buts. It's just how boxing's going, isn't it? It's just how boxing's going. Our boxing's going. 
Uh, and he's done well, hasn't he? 40 year old, yeah, he's had it handed to him on a plate, but he, he, he sells himself, doesn't he? He's got the platform. When you get him three million quid a year off Sky for 20 shows, you've got three million pound in the pot, right? He could do that three million quid in on the first 10 shows, but he could also keep that three million quid for the full year and pay everybody from the gates and the Dazon money and juggle everything about. More than capable of that, but good promoter, knows what he's on with. Who are looking at that? They're a nice car, them on the, on the Civics, I've had one of them. They were mega fast, but it were greedy as well, proper greedy. But, uh, had one of them as well. Shogun. But, uh, as AJ's mask slipped, coming out we calling, uh, Calling, oh, is it a clown? Yeah, I think his mask slipped. I think it slipped. Yeah. Yeah, I think it slipped. What can you do? It's one of them things, isn't it? One of them things. Look at the state of this on motorway here. M18, it's a joke. Fucking joke. Look at time here. Do you want to know where near his petrol station is? Start. The route is being calculated. Please follow the motorway for two miles. Could be breaking down in a second here with petrol. Forgot. Uh, right. Uh, have a look. But yeah, it's uh, not looking good, but I'm gutted for Fuki. I'm gutted for Fuki. Gutted for him. Gutted. Yeah, I'm gutted. But, uh, you know. uh, what what amazes me at the moment is this, right? Tyson Fury, getting back to Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is saying that. Right? Tyson Fury is saying that he's gonna fight Wallin. <laughs> I mean, they keep going on about this Wallen. Oh, he's six foot, whatever, and he's 17 stone. And he's undefeated and he's ranked with whatever. Look, them BT Sport. Them BT Sport, right? Documentary guys that are following Tyson around Marbella, hanging out at the back of his arse. They should be embarrassed. They call themselves boxing people. They should be embarrassed. And I mean embarrassed with a capital E. Is it an E for embarrassed? It should be embarrassed. Otto Wallin. And he's saying he's going to have another fight in December. Well, I'm telling you now, this February the 22nd, Tyson's going to fight in December, then have Christmas with his family. And you mean to tell me he's going to fight uh, February 22nd? Nah, 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 nah. He, no, 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 I'm not having that. It's a load of old pony. I'm not having it. It's a load of hogwash. Hogwash. It's a load of hogwash. As far as I'm concerned, they're not going to fight Wilder again. And if they do, they're just stringing it along. What'll happen is, it's just an angle to milk it, to go to the well one more time for an easy fight. Listen, everybody would be enjoying the training camps if they were knocking dossers out. If, you, if you're knocking dossers out, right, for 11 times the money, you got to fight Vladimir Klitschko. So you fight Vladimir Klitschko, right, and you get 11 times the money to fight Swartz and 10 times the money to fight Otto Wallin. If you can fight them sort of guys for 
time for X amount of times the money that you got to fight Vladimir, why on earth would you want to fight Wilder? So I'm still going to go on record and say it ain't going to happen. And all you gimps from Gimpville Island. Fury power! Fury power! You can come on my channel anytime you want. Email me your number and I'll ring you if you want to talk about this with me. Because how can you win the debate when they're rolling up Tom Swartz and Otto Wally? What a Wally! So no, load of old, load of old crap. I'm gonna just say something else then. But I think I've earned about four quid in this month on YouTube. <laughs> oh fuck it, we'll say it. it's a load of old knackers. YouTube can have this one on me. Hey, that's a good one, isn't it? I did a video that did uh, some really good views and I uh, put a song in it. Fly me to the moon with it's a boxing royalty collection. Video number three, about 920 seen it, but it did really good views over the space of a couple of days. It's on playlist and can't watch it now. They stopped it YouTube. Cause, Cause it's a Sinatra song, isn't it? Old Frank hurting me in my pocket and he's been brown bread years. So, what can you do? Move to the left. I like that BMW estate, you know. I got offered a 17 plate the other day, right? High mileage, 120 on clock. Straight swap for this. I said no. But it's an estate, isn't it? But it was alright. But it says what it is, isn't it? This is disgusting, this. What is happening to our country with motorways? We pay all this money road tax. I'm paying 450 quid a year for two road taxes. 450 a year. Look at this. That's nine quid a week road tax if you work it out weekly. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 450 a year road tax, 1100 quid a year insurance. And look at state at roads. I'm disgusted, I am. I'm disgusted. Look at it. Unbelievable. 40 mile an hour on a, on a motorway. But, uh, it is what it is, isn't it? So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting box. in there today. Uh, them lads that killed Tom Bell, I don't, not many people know this, but Tom Bell were an undefeated boxer who got shot dead in Bowie at Maple Tree Pub. Joseph Bonilla, 33 year life sentence. Scott Gokul, 17 year manslaughter. It's not going to bring poor Tom Bell back, is it? Is it? So it's a waste of life, isn't it? It's a waste of free lives there. And I feel for Tom's family. Not many people may know this, but Tom uh, turned pro with Dennis when I was with Dennis, and uh, I'd, I'd not been with Dennis long actually. And uh, he turned pro, 
and then he left to go to Steffi Bull and I don't know what happened after that. I think he just got involved in uh, just probably with wrong crowd and that, I don't know, but I'm only going on what I've heard. You know, his mind what on his boxing and that and it's a shame, isn't it? It's a shame. Boxing saves lives but you can be a boxer and have discipline and then pack it in and go out off at wrong rail off at rails and point I'm trying to make is that councils and MPs and politicians should really get behind should get behind boxers, shouldn't they? Get behind them and uh I just think it's sad. It's sad what's happened to Tom and his family and that. My heart goes out to them. Nice kid, Tom, as well. Very skillful fighter. I bet with that on. Uh, look. So, just a short video of this. Uh, just I hope that Tom's family are going to be alright. So, Tom Bell, may you rest in peace. And uh, I hope his mum and dad are going to be all right, and his family and that, because I've heard they're devastated, which they, which they should be, shouldn't they, really? I would be, if that were my son, Reggie, but, so, um, all right. No winners in this one, is there? It's just losers, isn't it? Losers for all three fans, but mainly Tom Bell's family, so, all right. Keep on trucking. <laughs>